All right. So I'm Matthew Terr, and I'm from Spiritual Truths, and I've um, been asked by uh, quite a few people um, some best practices as far as um, organization, file organization, how to set up a project, and so that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to set up this project that was sent to me by um, my Aunt Jenny, and uh, we're going to create a memorial uh, DVD for my Uncle Juan, who recently passed away, but um, she sent me... Um, a bunch of uh, photos and videos and um, she's done a really good job um, as you can see of you know capturing um, and kind of categorizing things but this is still not um, optimal as far as um, organization uh, for um, uh, working inside of um, Adobe Premiere and uh, After Effects, and then also um, eventually archiving it and getting it off of the system um, because we don't want to have to, you know, um, keep, we don't keep everything on our, our computers. We want to archive them later and put them somewhere else. So, um, but then still be able to access them later if we need to, if we need to re-export something or, or uh, change something in the video. So, all right, so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a uh, another folder here um, on this um, project uh, real quick. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and create um, another folder. And I'm going to label it 00 underscore projects. And the reason why I do 00 is because then it automatically goes up to the top of the finder window. And uh, you can easily see it. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and create another folder that says uh, it's going to be 01 and this one is going to be media and again now it's uh, neatly placed right underneath the uh, projects folder and uh, the reason why I uh, label media uh, with all caps is to just give a real quick visual reference um, not only is projects up at the top but projects is going to be where we store all of our Premiere Pro projects um, and um, the autosave files and some of the the folders and files that Premiere Pro naturally kind of creates so what we're going to do here now uh, just to kind of unclutter this root folder in uh, Finder is we're going to drop all of this into the um, media folder so all of that is going to take a couple of seconds and it's going to just move everything over into the media folder. Okay, so now we can continue to um, create uh, some more folders to kind of help clean up our root folder here. So we're going to go ahead and add um, O2 audio and then we're going to create uh, o oh, let's see, oh, sorry. O3 graphics or GFX we're going to add now a new folder I'm going to put 04 this is going to be sound effects and we're going to add in uh, music 05 music and then this is going to be 06 and this is going to be output and then we also now put in the last folder which is going to be 07 notes or docs or someplace that you're going to put um, PDFs or Word documents those types of things so okay so now we've gone ahead and we've transferred over everything over to media and um, there's kind of a combination of uh, photos and videos and so right here you can see okay well we have a music list which is a, a word document so we can go ahead and drag that over into the notes folder and now that's there um, we can uh, begin kind of looking through here um, most of these are, are photos um, and what what's What's kind of nice about what she already did is that she did go ahead and categorize these according to topics. So she did do some of the work for us. So um, we're going to go ahead and um, you know just look through here real quick, and we'll probably just for the sake of um, organization, we'll go ahead and add another folder, and we'll say, okay, these are going to be uh, photos inside of this um, 
this folder here. And we can go ahead and copy this folder and uh, we can go ahead and just start um, popping it in um, into this one here. Um, actually it's probably better to go ahead and just um, put an underscore in front of this and then that way it pops up to the top so that way we can find it. So I go ahead and copy that again and uh, we're going to go ahead and do that again and basically we're just going to add this folder which is a uh, blank folder uh, inside of all of these because we want to put the folders, the photos inside of that folder and then if there's any videos inside of these we'll um, find those after we've organized all of the photos. So. Alright, so now we go into the berry picking time. Okay, so all of these are photos, so we'll go ahead and just drag these in photos. And some of this seems like, oh, well, this is a waste of time. Actually, it's not a waste of time because, um, you know, because, you know, it's like, oh, well, they're already there and, you know, we've already, um, uh, you know, they're already in folders and they're already organized. And But the problem with that is that um, when you're working in a project, um, you want to find things quickly um, to be able to kind of optimize um, uh, time and just get in and out of stuff and when you have to constantly go searching through stuff um, it's just really better to take a few minutes at the beginning of a project and organize this. Um, you're going to save a lot of time later on. So um, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add a uh, video folder. Oops, if I can spell video. Correct. We're going to add video and then now we take this one here which has a video and we're going to put that in the video folder. So now I know when I open up the California trips, oh, okay, there's photos and video inside of this, and this is easy, easy, easy to, to um, visually reference. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and do a few more of these and organize this, and um, I might speed up the uh, the video uh, to go ahead and get through this. Um, That way you guys don't have to watch all this because this is kind of just a bunch of repetition. Okay, so now we've gone ahead and um, we've gotten all the photos, all of the videos um, organized. Um, I'm not quite sure what these ones are here. Um, we can go ahead and maybe label these as uh, maybe a uh, miscellaneous folder. Um, and we'll go ahead and do this and um, then we'll just drop these guys down into this miscellaneous folder and put that video in there and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, add this put our photos in there and we'll go ahead and put our video folder in there and all right, now I've got everybody in there. Okay, so all right, so now back to our root folder. Um, when uh, in the next video, when we 
<clears throat> start the um, Premiere Pro project, um, all of everything will be in there. The media folder, um, everything's all nice and organized there now. Um, the audio folder would be anywhere where you put um, an audio recording. So if you're doing an interview or um, you're capturing audio as part of a short film, um, this is where you would put all the audio files. Um, the graphics folder is where you're going to put, um, so like, um, you know, you would put uh, PSDs in here, um, you would put your, um, um, you'd put your, oh, you gotta make sure you go back and you click on the root folder. Um, you'd put your um, After Effects files in here, um, you would put your, um, Illustrator files also, um, you know, in some projects uh, when you're working on um, things, you know, that you'll have logos or um, photos, um, just other, any graphic elements, you know, you can put in, in here. Um, and then you have your sound effects, so that's pretty cut and dry. You're going to put your sound effects in that folder. Music, uh, this is where you would put um, your music folders, so anything, um, any kind of music that you're using for your project, you put in here. Output folder. Um, this is where you would make um, folders for, like, say, um, you're going to do stuff for, it's going to be coded for Vimeo. So, you know, you put a folder in there that says, okay, this one's going to be where I put the output stuff for Vimeo, or this one's going to be for, um, you know, if you're making a DVD. Um, you know, so that's where you're going to put your DVD files. And so everything just stays nice and tidy. And like I said, you know, this is where you're going to put your scripts or any um, checklists or client feedback or anything like that. So this is the way that I like to set up my projects. Um, and, and like I said, um, once you, if you do this at the beginning, it saves you a ton of time later on because um, once you get into a project and you just kind of car and start throwing stuff around and saving stuff places and maybe you are pulling stuff from other parts of your computer and um, you don't have it all saved into one location, um, later on it can get pretty crazy trying to move that stuff and you end up breaking file paths and you end up confusing Premiere and doesn't know where things are. So by setting it up this way you know okay where well, I'm going to put everything you know that has to do with uh, video in here, I'm going to put everything in audio in here and so on and that way everything stays nice and tidy and uh, you don't have any confusion later on. So. Um, in the next video, um, I will show you how to set up your Premiere Pro projects and um, how to get those set up. And it's a very similar structure on the inside of those. And uh, keep everything nice and tidy in there as well.